morning, Ginger. Michael says begrudgingly because he does not want it, but no worries. You're still looking like Rillo had enough, one to three-ish. In the northern parts of the Texas Panhandle, it was three to five. This morning, it's snowing in Wichita. There is a tornado warning that just spun up south of Houston, and that's where we're going to track this thing. Eventually, watch in Maine. So it is a large area that's going to be impacted, mostly on Saturday, Saturday night, and early Sunday. But let's talk about this afternoon because it's the severe storms, the tornado threat, and that, and then it's going to stay heavy snow anywhere inland. And so Hartford up to Boston and just west of Boston, that's where some of the heaviest snow totals. We're talking 6 to 12 inches. A lot of places have not had this type of snow this season. But again, you're going to have to get inland to get into the heaviest stuff, George. Okay, Ginger, thanks. We're going to turn now to the high school. It's an around wraparound for places like Boston on Sunday into, say, Worcester, Massachusetts. We're going to do a new storm because Yosemite just got all of their fresh snow. The Sierra Nevada had up to 19 of the severe storms. Monday, it's anywhere from Houston through New Orleans into the Panhandle and then for Tuesday, it's Orlando up into North Carolina. That Tuesday storm looks like mostly rain and wind here in the Northeast. Your local weather in 30 seconds. Who gets rain? Who gets snow this weekend? I am going to detail that coming up in just a couple of minutes on GMA, but also coming up, snooze or lose. Dr. Ashton is going to break down a new study that looks at how sleep can now affect cognitive health later in life. Oh, good. George, this is a January reality check, and it's happening already. The Panhandle of Texas, Amarillo, one to three inches. It was three to see in some slick roads. So you're going to do the winter weather advisories through the plains. And this morning, ahead of this, there's already a severe weather threat. There's been a tornado warning in Texas, and we're going to watch that eventually. Before it all becomes that mixed precipitation or full-on snow with winter storm watches from Maine and New Hampshire all the way down into the northern mountains of Georgia. So let's go ahead and pick it apart. It should start as snow. A lot of people will say, oh, it's snowing on a Saturday afternoon. How pretty. And then the rain's going to take over, especially at Philadelphia for New York City. Boston on Saturday looks like it's going to be that rain or mix. But then watch what happens. We are going to mix just enough cold air in, and it's going to keep pumping snow back behind. But I do think Boston, still in that winter storm watch, ends up with some of the totals. The heaviest, though, will be west of there, and especially for Poconos, uh, north of the Hudson Valley. Albany included. That's the 12 plus, Eva. All right, thanks. He moved so fast, he would have never waited 15 <laughs> days. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and talk about a drought. And we have had a considerable one in parts of Texas and throughout the Gulf Coast. Look at that heavy rain that's going to come with Storm 1 and then Storm 2 will end up a little bit in the areas that we need it most, but just to the east primarily. And it will be some heavy stuff, three to six inches. Let's get a check down a little closer to home. Michael, and you know it has been nearly snowless in so many places. JP from Anka, about four to five inches of extra snow before it had point two. So that should change this weekend. We are going to get considerable snow, but especially west of there and into the mountains. Let's get a check down a little closer to home. That wraps it up for us. We all hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye. Have a good one.